Jesus. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She died. <laughs> so let's ignore her. Let's instead look at the story about this beautiful little pigeon. The pigeon flew through the air, but then got caught inside of an airplane into got smothered into a million little pieces, but then the pigeon put itself back together. So, after it put itself back together, it went into an ice cream store. It looked at the ice cream owner and said... <laughs> and then the pigeon pulled out a guitar and got a deck of making coca started playing in the middle of the ice cream parlor and everyone was like this is the greatest thing ever and the princess heard it from thousands of miles away going she's dead <laughs> she's dead <laughs> how, how is that possible so the princess came down to the ice cream parlor and was like holy crap there's the the pigeon playing guitar solo in the middle of this ice cream parlor and enjoying it Lindsay was that the oh yeah that's... well on her way down to the ice cream parlor, she ran into Mario, I think. <laughs> and Mario punched her in the face because he was pissed that she could she like kept getting kidnapped and he's like, Bitch, how many <laughs> damn times do I have to save your ass? And she's like, I'm sorry. Like this guy just keeps taking me and so meanwhile this pigeon is like rocking out, but these two are over here like bitching at each other and um, so then the princess... <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to work with that? Okay, um... The... <laughs> um... Uh, the the Igen's inside ears pricked up as it heard an evil laugh. It turned out that Mario had completely lost it and now was beating the shit out of the princess for, <laughs> for disobeying her and not staying in the kitchen. Um, so the pigeon took his guitar and suddenly turned into a magic guitar to which was his special power. And he went over to Mario and a battle commenced. And the pigeon, and Mario said, what are you doing, pigeon? And the pigeon replied with, I'm Parry the Pigeon, and I'm going to kick oh. your ass. Oh. That's awesome, birds. Oh. <laughs> it's always oh. like birds in Super Smash Brothers for some reason. <laughs> yes. Before we go. That's, and that's when the pi uh, pigeon went oh. Super Saiyan. Oh. <laughs> I am much stronger than you, Mario. Oh, no, you're not, because I am, I am Italian. Italian. He's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, this this sucks. Damn it! Fuck this noise. That one. There, there That's you go. Noises curve. are just like w robots making like. Find <laughs> like one that isn't that. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I am Cornholio. I need chili for my bunghole. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so as Perry the powerhouse pigeon and Mario now <laughs> not unable to, not, not, not able to control himself apparently and the battered princess having having after having the crap beaten out of her by him continue their epic battle. Suddenly <laughs> Beavis comes out of nowhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the shit? Beavis comes out of nowhere and starts talking about Cornholio, and they're all like, hey, MTV dropped you guys forever ago. But he joins in the battle regardless. Oh, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> bang, bang. And then Perry the Pigeon challenged Mario to a dance battle. He's getting his stuff on, doing the robot, and Mario's like, oh shit, song, I don't know how to deal with this. And poor Peach was just sitting there like, oh my god. Really? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? 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 But then uh, Mario brought out uh, the Necronomicon uh, and started <laughs> leafing through the pages and he summoned an army of the dead to come forth and do his bidding, and he, it brought forth all the dead Nintendo characters that Mario had ever, ever killed. There was Zombie Coopers, Zombie Bowser, Zombie uh, Cooper Nephews, uh, Zombie Everything from the Mario universe, all fighting against Perry the P Pigeon, and the dance-off didn't happen because zombies can't dance, unless it's Thriller, and uh, then, <laughs> uh, yeah, and... Suddenly, all of the zombies exploded. Mario looked into Barry's eyes. Barry looked back into Mario. Barry. Why are we fighting? All we ever wanted was to love. 
so quickly. Mario <laughs> took off his his plumber overalls. No. And... <laughs> oh. no. The back. <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, yes. Michelangelo sensed that there was gay sex about to happen, so he used his ninja abilities to teleport right into Trunks's room and decapitated him. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Harry and Mario returned to fighting, but no, this was no normal fight. This was a fight of minds, for they were both psychics! <laughs> so Get over here! <laughs> Mario said. And now we come to the climax with Doug as the narrator. Because Mario, it turns out, was Scorpion all along! <laughs> yes, it was quite impressive how he squat and got in the overalls and the fake mustache, but then again, nobody ever saw a scorpion's face anyway. It was just a skull. So he put on a Mario mask and threw a spear, or whatever the hell that thing is that comes out of his hand, into Perry the Pigeon's neck. <laughs> and Perry the Pigeon went, Ha! I flew into an airplane earlier, got mashed up into a million pieces. You can't kill kill Wait, I thought that was a climax. <laughs> and then Perry blew up. The end! <laughs> yeah!